What's going on, people? I am pumped up and ready to go, big boy. And I shouldn't say big girl, but we've got a crazy battle here today. Round three, random fighter select. It's El Technico, and he's getting ready to lock horns with Scar Bear. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. What is up, people? We are ready to go. These guys have already randomly picked their fighters, and we got a pretty good matchup here. The classic striker versus br grappler, Verdum versus Lewis. And um, I'm recording this at 6 o'clock in the evening, and I'm drinking coffee, and I don't know why I'm drinking coffee, but I just feel like I needed that jolt. I call it liquid sleep. When I don't sleep enough, I drink coffee, and I just feel like I've slept an extra two hours. I wish I could just pour it in my eyes. Do you ever feel that sometimes where your eyes are burning? But anyway, I am ready, rejuvenated, got my old Canadian classic double-double, and I'm ready to go. Oh, my gosh. A cartwheel kick city. Now, both of these guys, I believe, are in the ESFL Fight League. And um, it's so funny how they started things out. And look at this. Already. We've got El Technico, who's using Fabricio Verdum, and Scar Bear, who's using Lewis. And this is crazy, man, because when you have a Verdum player on top of you, it's really tough to deal with, man. And it's really nice to see El Technico utilizing the strength of his fighter. And he's doing a good job landing some decent j damage here. Oh, this is not good for Scar Bear. And I have a nice little getup strategy that I do. Nice. Where I like to fake and then go up. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that. It would be a quick video, but it would be helpful. <laughs> and do you guys notice Derek Lewis is just, oh my gosh, a smelly to the face. His, um, his, like, animations, he always looks like he's exhausted. Like, look at Scar Bear's stamina. He's got great stamina. And it looks like he's really tired. Oh, someone's leg switching. <laughs> you know I'm going to say it. Somebody's getting their little br little brother to turn their Ethernet cable into a Twizzler, baby. <laughs> but yeah, look at his uh, animations. He looks exhausted. But this is where Scar Bear wants this fight to be, man. He doesn't want to be on the bottom on the mat. Wow. He's really taking chances with those kicks. I wouldn't do that, man, if I'm dealing with a grappler like Verdum. Oh! <laughs> spinning kick. Both of these guys are doing a lot of crazy strikes, man, for the fans. Wow. Big punches by Lewis. And Scar Bear is doing a nice job just hunting El Technico down. And El Technico has been in tournaments before, and he's done a great job just being like his name, technical on the feet. So it'll be interesting to see him try to utilize that really good technical skills that he's got. Oh my gosh. What a great spin kick right there. And this fight is anybody's battle, man. Both guys are showing moments of... Good things, man. Showing great promise here. The stamina game, though, for Scar Bear is not where I think he would like it to be at this point in the fight. A little lag action. <laughs> what is El Tectico doing? <laughs> He's pulling out the helicopter action. Wow. Crazy, crazy first round. Craziness. I, I, you know, the, the cool thing about this tournament is that y sometimes the nerves gets the best of people and sometimes it gets the worst of people, if you know what I mean. But um, these guys, I, I never would have thought that they would come out that wild. But I guess that's what they want to showcase in this matchup. They want to showcase something that the people are going to go, ooh and ah, baby. So let's see what happens. Who would you give that round to? I think El, El Technico, man. He, Wow. He got on top. Did some good things on the feet as well. But 
You know what? This is anyone's fight. You can't take a lot of heat from the big man, Derek Lewis. Look at him. He's enticing him. He's telling him, come on to the cage, brother. Nice. Wow, look at El Technico go. And Scarbear's head is flashing, man. He's got to be careful. Oh, I thought the fight was over. <laughs> Cartwheel kick city right there. Oh, but look at this. No stamina. No stamina, don't care. Scarbear. He is not going down without a fight. Oh, he's rocked again. And the little brother is twisting that ethernet cable for him. Oh, it's not helping. <laughs> what a battle. El Technico's got to be careful, though. He's got to stay true to his name, man. Because Scarbear is looking for that one punch KO to shock the internet. <laughs> With a crazy strike. Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah! Oh, they're wasting a lot of stamina with those kicks. He's got to go for a wild overhand, I think. Scarbear does. He's got to catch him with that wild overhand. I don't even know if Derek Lewis, Lewis has it. Oh, look at this. Wow, good head movement by Technico, man. He would have been out. This is anyone's fight, man. Forget about the stamina. Forget about everything else. This is anyone's battle. It's basically who's, who's going to get hit flush first is going to lose here. Nice head movement. Oh, he jumped right into that. Oh, it's over. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to see. A nice job right there. And look at this, we're jumping right into the next fight. These guys don't waste any time. They don't wanna showcase the random fighter selections. So here we go. Gastelum Verdum. Sorry, not Verdum, Gastelum Vanderlei, my bad. Ricky, no problem. I like to eat the chicken, Ricky. <laughs> That's my crazy Vanderlei impersonation, but let's see what happens here. Let's see if Scarbear can, you know, erase the memory of that first fight. I don't think he was fighting at his best, man. I, he's got to just be a little more patient, a little more technical, not as wild. And if I'm in his corner, I would tell him, keep those combos simple. Stop doing those crazy kicks. And having a pick like Gastelum, you know, got good hands. And he's showing great combos right here. But with Vanderlei, all it takes, I was just going to say, with Vanderlei, all it takes is a couple of shots, those sloppy strikes. And when you face a Vanderlei player that knows how to play this game, knows how to strike, it's really tough to deal with. Because just a couple of shots and gets you rocked. So you got to you move that head, keep your distance, go for takedowns. Wow! Wow! Both guys staying in the fire right there, getting hit. And at that point, Scarbear got the best of him. Wow, look at this. He's just going right in there, biting down on his virtual mouthpiece and ready to scrap. Wow, look at Scarbear go, man. He ain't scared. He should be called Scarebear. Uh-oh. And again... Trading strikes with the Vanderlei Silva is a death wish, so he's got to be so careful. And El Technico is such a good player, man. In my opinion, I wouldn't be playing that game, but it's working so far for Scarbear. He's got to be careful. Now look at El Technico. He's pushing forward now. He's got to use that head movement. Oh, this is a scrap, people. This is, you know what, meet me in the parking lot and let's throw it down for stealing my Costco parking spot. <laughs> like this is a street fight, man. Let's be honest. These guys are meeting right in the center and just throwing shots. And at this point, Technico is landing. Oh, but he's getting rocked here. 
Oh my gosh. We could be in for a wild. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna jinx it. I was gonna say a wild third fight. Wow, anyone's fight. Slight edge to Scar Bear. But his stamina's low. And his, the pep on his punches are just not there, people. It's like he's punching underwater. You ever tried doing that? Try this, brother. If you want to train, go underwater. Like, go into a pool and start kicking and punching underwater. Slow motion. Or do you ever have those nightmares where you get into a fight and you're, like, trying to throw punches and your punches are just super slow-mo? Let me know if you ever had an, a dream like that where you're, like, in a fight and you couldn't get any muster on your punches. And I feel like that's what's happening to Scar Bear at this point. Oh, big shots. How the... What is happening? Oh, he's going for armbar. He's looking to gain points from the fans. Showing his diversity. Oh my god, what a comeback. El Technico showing why he calls himself El Technico, man. Showing a great job at coming back, facing adversity, and getting the W. And that one's got a sting for good old Scar Bear. He was doing so well in the fight. And then just all of a sudden, the tables turned. El Technico turned the heat up, man, like Carl Prezian used to do. And he couldn't withstand the heat, man. Holy smokes. And there you go. Scar Bear is out. El Technico is in. And he's moving on. And just for the record, he's going to face the winner of the MMA Fro and win some nickel 54 fight. So that's going to be pretty crazy to see how he does, man. But anyhow, people, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day, guys. This is Ricky J. Baby from Ricky J. Sports. And don't forget, man, you are awesome.